Hello and welcome back to the Conquer Crab 2020 here in sunny, sunny Caribbean. This is the Bahamas versus Turks and Cacos Islands for the third of our quarterfinals. One of my favourite sides, Turks and Cacos Islands with Billy Forbes. What a fantastic comeback it was against Dominican Republic, wasn't it? 3 3 in that final group game. Didn't mean much, but uh, gave us a, a thrilling storyline. Six goals, so he's chasing that record that Barry Steenkamp got of 10. Can he do it? Copper Argentina, on the, uh, never mind. Heppel, Delaney up front there, Wells and St. Fleur on the wings. I believe the colours are the Ar Ar Argentina size, Arsenal, but uh, Fenulis and Forbes up front yeah, there, Magni. Not, not his own today, Billy Forbes, got a partner up there, strike partner. Yes. But he is still the man. Here we go. Apple gets us underway. Bahamas in the white and Turks and Kakos in the navy blue. Pinder. Goalkeeper Wiley. Russell. Is there a clear favourite? I don't feel like there is in this one. Like Personally, there. Turks and Kakos Islands, but. Would you think so? Personally. Bahamas who won the group, of course. Benebi. Carey. Pinder. And Carey here. Trying to twist and turn his way out of danger, but couldn't manage it. Billy Forbes finds Fenelis. Ooh, dicing with it. Wells. Inward to Joseph. Joseph back out to Wells. Wells to Heppel. Heppel's clean through on goal. Cameron Heppel. Oh, oh I thought that was the opener. It looked like it was going to nestle in the bottom corner. Well worked stuff, one touch football. As close as you like. <laughs> Billion. <laughs> <laughs> of course, having to play at some unusual venues due to disturbances in Barbados this week. Totally out of our control, unfortunately, but we still managed to get football, and that's the main part, even if not at the stadiums we were expecting them to be played at. Ah, got his body in front of that one well. Picked up by Leslie St. Flair. Checks back to Lady. Gives it to St. Flair. And oh, he's fouled. Will yeah. be a free kick. Played the advantage initially. And then finally given us a free kick. Bit of a dangerous position. Couldn't get a whip in. A cross step. Quite small, isn't he, Leslie St. Fleur? Oh, yes. Every have, single yeah. time we play. Uh, yes, yes, you have, yes. Fouled. Cross comes in and oh, well dear. held by Pendino Brooks. Nonchalant throughout to Francois. Sing. Luciano Sing. That's a person I've heard of. Here's Billy Forbes. Takes it past a man. Hits it. Oof. That's an effort. And, I don't uh, think he's won a free kick. Is it a corner? What is it? Ben Ebby is getting a telling off from the referee. No more of that. Just stop it. We'll have, we'll have stop it, all right. See what he did. Billy Forbes obviously just ran past him like he wasn't there. So he sticked out a... I was yeah. out his foot and Billy Forbes just went on, didn't he? Yeah, Billy Forbes unstoppable. Fair play to Billy Forbes. Cross comes in. Where will it land? Oh, oh he drags it wide. Clear-cut chances at both ends. Just didn't fall to him at the right kind of angle. I think he's a centre-back, isn't he? So, that's a centre-back's finish. Or a right-back, perhaps. Right. 
Fenelis tries to play through Billy Forbes. Billy Forbes gets there ahead of his defender, and that's a oh, goal! Oh, Billy Forbes! For the man himself, Billy Forbes! What a brilliant footballer and a brilliant goal. The seventh of the tournament, as you rightly say. And he's on track to win the, the golden boot and break a world record. I, I mean, slapping him on his bald head is a bit <laughs> offensive, but I'm sure... So what about uh, bald strikers? Yes. How did, he, how did he get the ball there? Sure will and sheer will and determination. He had to beat two defenders and he got past both of them like they weren't there. Billy Forbes. Unbelievable strength and guile. Fast Wiley. And that's why he's the greatest footballer in the world. <laughs> 1-0 Turks and Kakos. What can the Bahamas do now? Here's Wells. Just trying to use his pace there, Wells. Manages to get past Hawkins. Sheffield. Oh, oh one one. And that was a mistake of not of just trying to play it out there and he got tackled and Peppel gets himself another for the tournament. Gets himself excited. And Dino Brooks furious. Hmm. I mean he should be with his defenders because they've, they've yeah, had a chance to clear that. Yep. And Cameron Heppel. He's got a few, hasn't he? He has, yes. So it's one that... Hmm, he's trying to turn out and he just... needs to get that away. Louisa, yes. Yeah, he's tried too much there. And that's made it easy for Cameron Heppel. I do like a good knee slide. Billy Forbes sing moves his output he's low easy playing it through to Billy Forbes low easy sing Billy Forbes Fenless gets tucked down that's a, that's a dangerous place for a free yeah. kick what will they do is just another talking to from their free yes looks like it He didn't really need to do that, Russell. Also, lucky to get away with just a talking to. Oh, and Devax for a corner. Wins a corner, yep. Magni. The captain. Such a vicious bad wire up there. <laughs> it is, isn't it? A deep corner. Falls to Elsie as he hits one. Oof. Uh, always, always rising, always going over the bar. Wiley with the goal kick obviously this is the goalkeeper unless they say Fleur de Carey <laughs> tricky football here's Julnis the right back plays through Wells can he whip a good cross in can he whisper cross in is it good not the best Pendino Brooks clears up Billy Forbes with a lovely flick on not, not sure what Fenless was doing there Sweeping diagonal ball across the field and it was headed down. Nothing comes of it. He's Hawkins. Plays in Fenelis. Magni with some space on the right wing but decides not to run into it. Just wastes possession. Elsius. Fenelis tries to find Billy Forbes. Just have to clear that one. Billy Forbes is harassing him and I think he does sense danger. Like a shark in waters. Murky waters. That's what Billy Forbes is. A shark in murky waters. Beautiful analogy. Leslie St. Fleur using his diminutive stature to his advantage there. Sneaking his way through two bodies. Using his diminutive stature once again. Winning a free kick. And winning another free kick for himself and... A 
Wesley St. Fleur drills it towards Magni. Elsius gets tackled by Joel Mace. And then that's a bit of a coming together. Bit Sing. of a cynical foul on Sin there. Just a hack. Frustration from Joel Mace. He's sing. Oh, trying to have it. Oh, he's rising. No, it dipped down too too late. Not the yeah. sweetest hit either. Nope. Quite a lumpy bald head, sing. Must be difficult to shave. Look at that. Vicious barb white. <laughs> Nobody's uh, breaking into this stadium at all. So it's 1-1 one, one still, 10 minutes remaining in the half. Half? That sounds very posh. Half? Half? What? <laughs> How do you say half? Half? Half. 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 Shut up. Just sounded particularly posh the way I said it. Half. Yeah, it sounded like... Half. Say half. It's half. It's a half time. Close to half time. Pump long and wow. Wiley will always grab that. <laughs> Enthusiastic from the crowd there and Billy Forbes. Body faint. Oh Billy Forbes. Did well to avoid giving away a corner there. Yeah. Or our goal to Billy Forbes. Fenless! Fenless! Oh, Fenless! Well taken by him. They do have more of a go source of goals than just Billy Forbes. And Fenless. Two pointless shots there. I mean, we'd rather see Fenless celebrating with his best mate. Billy Mark Forbes. Fenless of Taiwan Seal. In Chinese Taipei. And that's Billy Forbes with the assist as well. Oh no, it's not. It's 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 the other bold fella, isn't it? Sing. Luciano Sin. I think that's not Luciano, is it? Let's see what his real name is. Lenford. You what? Lenford Sing. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Luciano Sing's a real version. Well, I mean Lenford Sing is as well, but. Who's Luciano Sin? I don't know. I think maybe a golfer? We'll have, we'll have a Google at half time. We will find out the, all these questions that we've got for you at half time, yes. Brian. Lovely from Brian. Sing. Billy Forbes. I'll see us on the left. Loads of space. Billy Forbes. Flick through his legs to see. Here's Fenless. Billy Forbes. It's back to him. And he gets brought down. And surprised the free kick wasn't given, or it was in the end. Just took his time, the ref. No card, I don't think. It was just a bit of a tripping. Coming together of legs. Billy Forbes. Uh, magnanimous there. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't just a trip. They sort of stop him, don't they? But they get. He's such a unit. And another wasted free <laughs> Wiley will collect it. Not long left in the half. No idea how to take free kicks. I don't know why you've not practised. The game's been out only three years now. And we've played two tournaments on it. <laughs> well, it's half time. Are you enjoying this one? Yeah, great game. Luciano Singh. Oh, Lu Luciano Narsing is a person. That's the one. The Dutch. Yeah, Luciano. Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> I, think I do know Lucia. And then Lucio Narsing, yeah. So that's, that's the man, yeah. I'm sure they would have been screaming at the TV. That's who we were thinking of. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, Fidel oh, Castro would have been, won't he? Fidel Castro would shot if he was watching. I was thinking, to be honest with you, it was uh, one of the maybe one of the crap players who'd been I in the previous well, tournament. Yeah. But uh, 
Thought maybe he played for the likes of some Asian nation or something, I don't know. But. Easy, Elsius. The rhythmic, with the rhythmic pattern of the drums, giving an ambient background to this thrilling quarterfinal. Wells driving forward. Oh, cuts in nicely. Will he get the shot off? Oh, he oh does. good save that from Pendy and Obo. Marvelous save in the end. Oh, he's yeah, buzzing with bigger. it. bigger. Another talented young man in this tournament. What energy from Wells to get himself into that position. Got a bit fortunate that the ball landed at his feet. Look at him. He just sheer tenacity to get through, wasn't it? That is some freeze frame. So it's Leslie St. Fleur's the one crossing this in. Back post. It's cleared away. Huge header away. There's a chance to break for the Turks in Cacos Islands. He's Fenelis. Fenelis. Billy Forbes. Oh, Forbes. Couldn't find Fenelis on the overlap. Is it an overlap if it's in the middle? I don't think it counts, is it? Uh, I don't know. It was, it, was a symbol, it was a symbol of move, but it wouldn't be called the same thing, I don't know, actually. Oh. Offside. Well, it deflected off the other man, so... Not sure what the ruling is. Just a toe offside there. But it, but it, oh, but it came off the gap. Oh, what? <laughs> I thought it was a... Unless it's intention, it, mm. unless it's not intentional, then it. Don't know it the a, rules. It's a, not an offside. But. Billy Forbes. Oh, oh I thought miss. it was in. I thought it's that was in. Guy to hits the stanchion. Well, he won the header. Elsius like, accidentally passes it to him. Just, just wide, just wide. Well, he doesn't miss those often, Billy Forbes. <laughs> Goalkeeper. <laughs> can't see a thing <laughs> Fenless once again <laughs> Billy Bob brought down went down a bit soft apparently it usually takes quite a lot to bring such a large character down but referee having nothing Jerome Fenless. Oh, lovely football. Fenless. Oh, Billy silky. Forbes. Billy wow. Forbes with eight. Oh, eight already. It definitely could be his tournament. I think you're right about that. Could get nine. And that was just wonderful one touch football, wasn't it? Try defending that, boys. You can't. Good luck. He's always there, isn't he, Billy Forbes? You run about the uh, the golden ball. I think he's going to win both the golden ball and the golden boot here, Billy Forbes. Three one now, Turks and Kakos. Bahamas close to being sent home. They're well in control of this fixture now, aren't they? Here's Billy Forbes. Billy Forbes just surging his way forward. And oh, just the, the artistry! Oh. <laughs> oh, almost beautiful. I mean, they're totally in control now, Turks and Cacos Islands, just having fun. Free flowing. Look at that. And the volley. I think the goalkeeper had that one covered, in fairness. He did, Darren Wiley. Shots 12 <laughs> versus 5. Ooh, it's been a bit of a one-sided affair, this one. Pendino Brooks not making a mistake this time. Delaney. Oh, it's Heppel. Heppel couldn't do anything. No. Oh. Bundling around in the box. 
shocking play and finally cleared away. Looking not to concede there for Turks and Kakos, he's Fenless. Fenless played advantage. And giving away a corner. corner. And it's not a free kick at least, it's probably better. Magni hits this one in, only three men in the box for Turks and Kakos, not taking any risks, but they still no! win the header. Billy Forbes almost in the ninth there. Well, you only need one man in the box, don't you, when you've got Billy Forbes? He's going to win everything. <laughs> Magnificent. What a man. <laughs> Pebble finds Delaney. Lovely stuff to Leslie St. Fleur. Pinder. Carey. Quinton Carey. Plays one through to Delaney, who was onside. Nah. Rasping effort, but... Was a rasping effort, but always rising from Delaney. They've not turned up with their A-game today, Barm Harmers. And Leslie Fleur's really not been uh, involved. Not as, not as influential as he's been in previous games, has he? Not at all, no. I suppose that's the thing if you're a one-man team. If, you're, if your one-man has a bad game, a bit of a down game... I wouldn't say they were a one-man team no, at all. Not, not, like, not. not like Turks and Kakistan. <laughs> Turks and Kakistan are a one-man team. If Billy Forbes ever does have a bad day or an injury, they are screwed. Although defending like that, not so much. Not as good. Billy Forbes chasing this one. Pindu will get there first. And Wiley clears it. Straight back to Wiley. Oh! His heart will have been in his mouth there, Wiley. Leslie, St. Fleur, the diminutive character. Gets the cross in the box. Oh, it's fallen to Wells. Two, three, goals, two. three do. Well, that was brilliant. you get Leslie Selick Fleur involved, and you've always got a chance of a goal. That was yes, that was good yeah, stuff. he created that one. And good dribbling, good footwork, and uh, got a good cross. Took it down well and beat two men. Look at that! Check back onto his favourite foot, and a wonderful cross to the back foot. Through into the path of Wells, and he takes that goal well. Uh, Leslie Saint Fleur, of course, lots of quality. <laughs> he took quite a lot of switches there. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, I, I thought he was going to waste it. Keep him had time to get across. Just have to make sure he was going to get into the back of the net. Do they have time to get the equaliser here, Bahamas? Mm, they ten, do. Ten minutes left. Ball's lost a bit of its zip, actually. I think the pitch has dried out. Magni. Of course, pitches dry out very quickly in this climate. The searing sun melts off the, the spray of the sprinklers in no time at all. Magnum. Keeps it. Billy Forbes. Billy Forbes and deflects it to the hands of Wiley. Took a bit of a sting off it, that deflection made it easier for Wiley. where you would pass it's going to be one of the last chances here make the most of it Bahamas and they don't Truff Pendino Brooks getting that one away just in time Joseph Wells another chance here here's Chilmis with a lot of space and a wonderful challenge there to win the game perhaps Wells. Elsius now. Just bursting his way in the box. Elsius keeps going. Wins himself a corner and that's exactly what they want. Smart play. They want it up oh, there. What the and hell? the advertising hoardings are the absolutely hell is are in the way. What the what am I supposed to do here? Right, just guess. Falls into the box. Oh, well, Billy still Paul had a chance. Got a head on it. 
beating the turf like he's lost the game there. Touches his determination to he's, score fourth. He's aiming high, isn't he, Billy Forbes? He's got that crap legacy to live up to, that Barry Steenkamp's ten goals. And, and that's it, James. And look, they congratulate the man who got a brace today. And a better team won, do you think? end of the tournament for Bahamas, but I believe they may be going to the Crap World Cup, but we will find out. The best team won today, James? Rightly so, yes. Hawkins with an early effort. Just spinning in, just wasn't favoured for him there. Hawkins and then Billy Forbes. I don't know how he did that, not a clue. Gets himself through ah, such tenacity to get through there from Billy Forbes. Nets it well. Silky stuff. And then play through the Billy Forbes. Muscles his way through. Fires home. And it's Cameron Hebel with the equaliser, given away by Lucy Pooley, and then Hebel finishes it off. Nets it well. And then Elsius had a dipping effort. It was always rising, always going over. And Mark Fenelis wins it, or gives them the lead at the very least, and that was a lead they didn't relinquish. For the rest of this game. Proving they're more than just Billy Forbes at times. I think today more than any day they've proved that. <laughs> Leave it for now. Well. Wells had an effort. He just he just worked his way through and then penned in over. Has to make the save. Well saved by him. Billy Forbes had an effort, hit the stanchion. It kept rattling there, such as the venom that Forbes hit it with. And then another goal scored. Beautifully worked, and Forbes finished it off. And just after the hour mark, it was pretty much safe for the Turks and Caicos Islands. Then Fenelis had a chance to make it 4-2. Or 4-1, four, four should I say. Silky stuff. Then ahead is just wide from Forbes. It just kept coming from the Turks and Cacas Islands. They kept going. The lady had a chance to pull one back. But it's shot over the bar. Then there was a goal back from the Bahamas. A chance to make it nervy in the final 10 minutes with an 81st minute strike. Nathan Wells getting that one. No Dylan Lightbourne in this fixture. Could have that made a difference. Perhaps on James. Still, Turks and Cacas Islands had the final chance and that was it so that is the third quarter final we've got one last one tomorrow yes we do and it'll better be a cracker no extra time yet Billy Bob man of the match there not a dab extra time in this tournament I, I'd agree with that Billy Bob says always man of the match in my eyes <laughs> so we'll see you tomorrow for the final quarter final <laughs>